one of the easiest and freest way to generate a lot of views onto your channel is simply making good use of the YouTube homepage. Yes, you heard me right. The YouTube homepage is the best place to get most of your views from. And the only way you could get views from that, from that homepage is by having great thumbnail designs. Now, what I mean by great thumbnail design is not thumbnails with a lot of lighting, but simply a thumbnail that stands out among its competitors. And in this particular video, I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can edit thumbnails that will generate a lot of views for you. And according to YouTube, this my channel gets over 40% of its views from the YouTube homepage alone. That is to tell you that what my top notes are pretty doing well if they can compete with other big people in this industry and still give me more than 40% of my views. Then I'm also in a good shape to share with you how you can design yours as well. And according to YouTube, you can see it over here. The YouTube homepage is the number one place where I get most of my views from. And the only thing that can do that is by having good top notes because on the YouTube homepage, your title doesn't matter, your tags doesn't matter, and your description doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the top notes because they direct the viewers on what to do so this already said let's get straight on my computer let me share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can actually edit great youtube top notes and also generate decent views to your channel remember whether you are using a smartphone or a desktop there's no problem at all as this software i'm going to share with you works both on mobile phone and also on a laptop as well and when it comes to mobile phone whether android or ios it doesn't really matter so let's get straight on my laptop let me share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can edit youtube top notes on your smartphone or on your laptop so let's get started so hello guys now that i have my computer let me take you straight and i share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can actually edit top notes for your youtube videos that are actually going to drive you views as i already said top news the better your top news the more chance you should stand of generating a lot of views from the youtube homepage and recommendation feature so for this video we'll be making use of canva actually but personally i edit my top news with photoshop i use photoshop but um, Photoshop is not available for every device out there and it's also not a free software. So for that reason, we'll be making use of Canva so that everybody can actually have access to it. So personally, I was using Canva when I started off. Canva also have great features that I can actually use to edit thumbnails and they make it even easier for beginners to actually do. So for that reason, we'll be using Canva. So for those of you who don't have a laptop who want to do it on your phone, you can actually go over to your Play Store or App Store and actually search for Canva and then you get to download it for 100% free. So they have a free plan and they have a premium plan and you don't need a premium plan so now when it comes over to designing your top note, the first thing you need to do is that you need to come over here where it says create a design. And then over here you can see YouTube top note, so it automatically gives you the size of a YouTube top note. Now, this one that it gives you by default is actually a blank page whereby you can actually start designing from scratch. So if you want to design from scratch, you can actually make use of the blank page. However, the good thing with Canva is that Canva also gives you some already made templates that you can actually use if you want to design a top note. So for that, simply come over here and search for YouTube, YouTube, and then top no. So YouTube top no. Now they also have them featured right here for you. And to make it easier, you can actually filter it out by the free ones so that you don't get to stress yourself trying to avoid using a premium material. So you can just come over and hit on free and then apply. Now they, you are only going to see the ones that you can actually use for free. Now you see. They have a lot of already made templates here that you can simply just modify and then publish. Like for example, let me look for one of the ones here that actually caught my eyes. So let me say I'm taking this one that says how to meditate. And I click on customize this thumbnail. Now you can see from here, you can change every single item here. The background, you can, the background, you can get another background to replace it, and then you can change the text. Like for example, let me see. I want to get rid of the how to, how to um, and then you can change the color. Like you can literally do every single thing you want here. You can actually do every single thing you want here to actually modify it to your own liking. And if you want to change the background, all you simply have to do is click on it like this and hit on delete. And then you can go over to any free stock website. Like for example. You can also come over to a website like Pezos. And then come over to Pezos and then search for any image of meditation or all of that. And then you can simply use it to replace this particular one. So for this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually start from scratch. I'm not showing you how you can edit already existing ones. But this is simply how you can edit already existing ones. You cannot change every single thing. 
using the knowledge I'm going to share with you on how you can edit from scratch. So, now, so when it comes to editing your thumbnails from scratch, the first thing you need to do is that you need to know the kind of video you are coming to upload, which is the title of the video and all of that. So let me say I'm coming to upload a video about travel. So I'll just use the word top five cities to visit, top five cities to live in Japan or top five best cities to live in Japan. Now I have it, I want to make a video on top five best cities to live in Japan. Now the next thing I normally do is that I come over to, let me just come over to YouTube. So I normally come over to YouTube. Now what I come and do on YouTube is that I try to look at other top news that are talking about the same topic. So let me just come over here and search for it. So now let me just search for it. So okay, over here I'll just click on best cities to live in Japan. And I'd, I've searched it once so I'll actually have it over there. Now once you search for it, like now take a look at the top performing videos here. So you can look at this channel has just a thousand subscribers and this video has gotten 7,3, 7.3k views. And I look at it, seven best cities to live in Japan. So you look at the top news and look at the one that actually grab your attention because when you are editing the top news, you are not just editing random top news. You need to edit top news that you see that as, is actually generating results for other channels as well. So you need to look at channels with less subscribers but are getting decent views because any channel that has less subscribers but its videos are getting a lot of views tells you that their top news are doing a decent job out there. So for that, let me just look through. So you can just look through and then see the one that actually got your attention. Like for example, I love this particular one here. Seven best cities in Japan. So I love the way this top news looks because when it comes to editing top news, the most important thing is that it's keeping it simple and at the same time letting audience know exactly what they are coming to watch in the video like being straightforward with your top no is actually the best thing and not creating clickbait top no so once you've seen the particular top no that grab your attention that doesn't mean you have to edit something exactly as that no you just have to do something that imitates that one bet in your own way so for example i already have the idea of top no i want to design for my video in mind so what i'll simply do is that i'll come over to pezzles now what you are doing on Pezos is that you need to download images that you are going to use for your top no. And Pezos is the only place where you are going to get free images. So for example, if you are doing a facelift channel and you don't want to show your face, then Pezos is the best place for you to come and get free images. So either Pezos or Pizza Bay, any of those. So for example, this video I'm going about, I'm searching for best cities to live in Japan. So what I'll do, I'll simply search for Japan. And then I'll just hit on enter. Now once you come over here, Keep it as, as photos and I'll come over where it says filters. Now over to filters, set it to horizontal because you need wider pictures and the sizes, keep it as large. And then from here, you look for which of them actually gives you the vibe that you actually need for your video. So using a very cachy thumbnail is very important. So if you are talking about um, best cities to live in in Japan, you need to look for some cool and nice atmosphere to use for your top no. But if you are doing videos on the best cities to work in Japan, then you need to use business appearance like this. So you need to understand the purpose of your top no because it decides the kind of images and things you're actually going to use. So for the purpose of this video, let me just scroll through and see if I'll get anyone that actually matches what I want. So for example, maybe this is a particular one I want to use. So let me just grab this one for this video. So I'll just download it and then I'll just click on save as and then I'll just save it um, onto my pictures. So I'll just say, I'll just title this at Japan and then click on save. Now I'll come over to, now I'll come over to uh, Canva over here. Then you have to import the image because you need to set the image as a background before you add the test. So for that, just come over here and then hit on where it says upload. I simply hit on upload then you upload all the images you want to use so now you must not download uh images as if you have your own images that you want to use that's also fine so for my own case this is an image i would like to use so i have to download it from somewhere else, since it's a faceless channel now you can see i have the image over here so 
I'll just click on open and then I'll set it to set as background image. Now you see, let me go back again and show you what I did right now. So once you click on the image and it appears like this, you click on it and then click on this three dots here and then set it to set as background image. Now the image automatically become the background for the design you are coming to do. Now after this, you need to put your test. Now the test, I say I want to use this um, top five best cities to in Japan. So now I have it here. I'll just leave it at the top there. Then all you simply have to do is come over to where it says test. Now over here, this is where you start taking your test and their size. So you can come over here to take already edited test and all of that. So for me personally, I'll just start from scratch. I say add a subheading. So I'll use a subheading for the top five best. So I just say top five. So the top five will be like this. And then I'll just zoom it in a little bit. They're not too big. I'll try to make it a little bit smaller. And then come over here and then pick the font you want. Let me look at this font and how it appears. So you just have to keep going until you get the font you actually like. So let me say I want to go with a, a vertical word. It's a font I already know before, so you can go with a regular for that or okay. This one is okay. So you have this one like this top five. And then you don't want the top five to be too big because that is just um, something random. And then I'll just come over and put the rest of the test. Top five best cities. I'll just uh, maintain it here. Best cities. And then I'll duplicate this small one. Okay, let me just look at top five best cities in Japan. So I'll just name it top five best cities in. Then I'll duplicate this one for the Japan. So I have it here. And then I'll come over here and then look for a font that will actually stand out. Okay, this one is good here. Then I'll just make this one bigger. Then I'm going to give it some background. Maybe you want to give the test some background and all of that. So I'll have this like this, like this. And then maybe I want to give the Japan a different color and a background. So first of all, let me give it the color I want. So I'll kind of first of all give it a background maybe. Come over to this part here where it says element. You can see it here, element. This way you get to pick your background. So let me just say I'm going with this background here. I'll just zoom it into it like this. And then drag it like this. And then put it right here. Yep. And I'm going to kind of maintain. Let me see if I can give it a different color and then. So you just have to play with it and then see a color that is going to stand out for the test because you need to make your test stand out out of the design. Okay, so I have to adjust. So you just have to click on it to adjust it to fit in. So does this fit for you? So you just have to do it to your own taste and then see. So when, is this, when you are designing top notes, you just have to try it out until you get what actually worked for you and they stick with that pattern okay this one looks okay japan standards so this one let me see if i can get a color from here that actually going okay this one didn't stand out well but then we can give it a different background also
So this background didn't work out. So you just have to keep trying with your design like this until you get exactly what you want. The most important thing is that make sure that your design stand out and easy for your users to actually see. That is the most important thing when it comes to editing your top. You know, just make it easy to be read by your audience. So this one here. Just looking for something that is actually really going to stand out. So I'm keeping it at the poppins, setting it to semi bold. Okay, let me just keep it as extra bold, and then give it a color that will make it stand out from here. So you can also pick colors from the image by clicking on this place here. And then I also buy around the image and see which of the colors is actually going to stand out for you. Okay, something like this, and then I'll just click on all of them, select all, then I'll just zoom it in. And it's this simple. So five best cities in Japan. So you can just align the text in a way that it should be easy for people to actually read. So the most important thing when designing your thumbnail is that it's easier for people to read, easier for people to see and read. Something like this top five cities, top five best cities in Japan. You are simply good to go. You don't have to make it so flashy and so lighty and then make you think that you are not doing the best thumbnails. The most important thing in your thumbnail is that make it easier for users to actually see and then read. And one thing about me when I'm designing my thumbnail is that I like adding um, a stroke around the whole body of the thumbnail. So if I want to do something like that, all I simply do is that I'll just get, I'll just get something like this, a rectangle. So I normally do that in my Photoshop. So let me try and do it here as well. Delete. Okay, let me see if the image is actually going to have that feature. Okay, the image doesn't seem to have it. So let me just click on a rectangle. In Photoshop, I normally do it with a rectangle. I'll drag it over the design. If you look at all my top notes across all my channels, you are going to see that in it. So over here, I'll make it colorless. And then I'll give it stroke. And then I'll increase it a little bit. This is just something I love doing with my top notes. So I can make it um, a color that will stand out. And then I can come over here and I drag it to a little bit brighter color. Or I can just pick it from the design also. Then. Yeah, this is just something I love doing with all my top notes. So top five best cities in Japan. Just bring the top five down a little bit. Yeah, you just have to make sure that the most important part, which is the best cities in Japan, is actually easy for users to read. With this, you have your thumbnail pretty much this simple. So I'm going to do a video on this topic, so let me just download it. So for me, my video will be top 10. So I'm just going to download it just arrange it a little bit more now I'm just going to lock the this thing that I added so it doesn't interfere when I'm trying to pick my objects okay So this all, here you have your top note, top 10 best cities in Japan. It's pretty much this simple. The most important thing is that your top note should carry the title and then make it easier for users to actually understand the video you are coming to publish to them. Like for example, if you come over to my YouTube channel, let me just come over to home. Come over to um, view channel. Come over to videos. Now when you look at all my top notes, you see that all my top notes are pretty much straightforward. I just Put the title of whatever video the thing i'm coming to show you in the video now when creating your top nails there are some top nails that will require you to make it um to add some curiosity vibes in it what i mean by curiosity is that like take a look at this one i just use using people's video 
So this one will be like just creating curiosity in people's mind. You can see this one using AI videos. And then there are some that I'll go straight to the point how to create reaction videos using an iPhone, my YouTube equipment. So some of your videos you just have to use to create curiosity in people's mind. Take a look at this one without showing your face. How to get monetized in 90 days. And then how to make money. So you simply have to have a simple pattern for all your thumbnails. You can see all my thumbnails have this stroke you see around them. So it's just a way in which I used to keep everything in check across all my YouTube channel. Even if you come over to my other channel, known as Ferris Trades, I also have same similar things but with different color. Yeah, this is also my other channel. I'm currently at 2,907 k subscribers with 124 videos. You can see this video was uploaded four days ago. So you can see, I have the same, I have those strokes around all my videos as well. So it's just a way I used to keep all my things in check. So with this, you can actually start a, a designing your own thumbnails as well. When it comes to designing thumbnails, it's pretty much simple. Just make sure it's easy, straightforward, and don't focus on editing clickbait thumbnails. Focus on editing thumbnails that actually worth people's time and clicking. So with this already said, hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like this video, and tell more to feel down in the video description as well. And in case you have a specific topic in mind and you want me to do thumbnails around that topic for you, then you can actually let me know that in the video description. I also create a video on that as well. And for those of you who keep asking me if I have a WhatsApp group, I actually don't have a WhatsApp group, but I have a Telegram group, and the link will be down in this video description as well. So have a lovely day. Bye.